Hey folks, I'm Woody Wood from the Woody Wood Fishing Show and Woody Wood's Guide Service. I had some inquiries about the rigging I've been using to catch the blue cat on Lake Sinclair and Lake Oconee. I want to show you this rigging that I use. It's called a Carolina rig or a Santee Cooper rig. Okay? At the top here, you will see a one ounce weight. Sometimes I use a two ounce weight depending on if a strong wind is blowing or they're pulling or pushing a lot of water in and out of each lake. I want to make sure this weight doesn't move so I can sometimes run the line twice in through the weight and tie it off. Maybe stick a toothpick down in there to stabilize it. Then I come and I tie my swivel onto my line. Make sure you double your line when you tie your line onto the swivel. Now this 25 pound red Cajun line that I'm using is about three foot long, sometimes four foot long. It doesn't matter. And this cork is a medium sized cork. And this serves a big purpose in being successful in catching these fish. Along with the circle hooks that I use, which are one off. Now I want you to visualize this. This is the bottom with your weight. And you have your bait, which I prefer to use live bait, live shiners or live shad, hooked on the end with the cork, keeping it off the bottom. And this is the way it's going to look when the fish sees it. The fish is going to hit this. They're going to swallow it. And when they do, you make sure you see the fish bend the rod and you take the pole out of the pole holder and you begin to reel. Now when you reel, you want to keep that rod tip at 45 degrees to 90 degrees because if you point that rod straight to the fish, most of the time these circle hooks aren't going to stay hooked on the fish. Another point is make sure your drag is set from about 7 to 10 pounds. So these big fish we've been catching, 20 and 30 pound fish, they're going to take line. And you don't want to hurry these fish at all. Now, when these fish get close to the boat, another thing that I've learned is you don't rush them. You play them out, you get them tired, and you get them close to the boat enough, they're going to make another run. They're going to have a second surge. And that's why that drag being set right, your rod tip being up, you'll have a successful trip. So you can go to YouTube at 2014 Wood, and you can check out all the highlights that we're putting on from May, June, and July catching these blue cats. So we'll see you folks next time on the Woody Wood Fishing Show.